Hi, Terra fans. This is Terra Solo Gamer. Today I'm going to be talking about Battle Pass Season 6. This season's Battle Pass theme is Summer. Now, today's 11 July. I waited a few days to bother posting this. They actually uh, started it on the 7th of July, right after uh, server maintenance. Uh, on the 6th of July, they posted uh, that they had included uh, patch 97.01 out there with Terra, but... Uh, the latest message still just says that once they have an English translation, well, then they'll go ahead and post the actual information for it. I was actually holding off because I've been hoping to post a video for the Festival of the Sun and the Banquet of Blood, which happens every year in July. Last year, I looked through the old uh, announcements. It started on the 7th of July, so I was hoping it was going to happen after the server maintenance, but I, they have July events posted, and I don't even see mention of the uh, annual festival of the sun so i'm hoping that's coming soon i don't know but anyway uh we're talking about battle pass if you've never uh played terra or you're new to the battle pass system you haven't been playing terra long or whatever uh, as a reminder you do not have to buy anything from the terra store to participate uh you can just go out and do uh, certain events and whatever uh, it, it'll tell you what kind of things you can do to earn battle pass points the only difference is if you don't buy a battle pass um, then you won't get as many rewards but you can still work and earn some of the rewards either way if you go into your menu under event battle pass uh, you will see what all the different rewards are based on the level that you have earned now if you see the word free over an item and that means you get in this case you get to pick one or the other and you don't have to buy a battle pass. But like levels one and two, if you don't have a battle pass applied, then you won't get those particular ones. But like level three and level six, and I do want to find one where it's not a choice. You get a, an actual just item. That's a choice. There you go. The 60-day bracelet of absolute equilibrium, once you get to level 20, bracelets of absolute equilibrium are really nice. They uh, give you a huge buff to your crit. And... This one is a 60-day version. If you buy the Battle Pass Plus, then you get the uh, permanent version. Now, if you want to know what to do each day, click on... Whoops, let me back up. Uh, you can see up in the upper right, it says, press the Y button to check missions. That's Xbox. If you're on PlayStation, it'll tell you which button to push. These are your daily missions right here. And these first three are standard. I see those every day. Just log into Terra for an hour. Boom, 20 points. Um, get... Valkyrie Federation orders three times. Basically, go do three Vanguard requests. Boom, 10 points. Clear any dungeon three times. Boom, 20 points. You can go in and clear Bash and Elope, even if you're level 65. Do it three times, get 20 points. You know, take a few minutes. And then some of these change from a day-to-day -day basis. This happens to be what's uh, in effect for today. Now, you also have... I, I clicked my right button to switch over to Challenge Mission. Now... I see this one once in a while. I tried it again this this weekend. Still doesn't work. The counter doesn't work at all. I've gone to Tulip and Chevica, Freeholds, and Colossal Ruins, and I'm still at zero out of one. But supposedly, you'll get 200 XP for doing it. Again, I think that those counters are broken because I have gone there fast-traveled. I have gone there with Pegasus. I have interacted with other people while I'm there, and nothing seems to make it count. So, you know, if someone happens to know some special trick you have to do to make it count on that counter, let me know. But I've never seen this work before. I've tried numerous times when this pops up. Uh, and then you do have this. These are duels. I don't do PvP, so I don't know if these counters work or not. Give it a try if you happen to be a PvP kind of person. And, you know, let us know in the comments if uh, that counter works or not. Okay, so back to this part. Uh, if you again, you don't have to buy anything. That's how you earn uh, levels and rewards. And again, if it says free, you don't have to buy anything from the store to, to collect those particular rewards. Uh, but if you do want to collect all the rewards, then you will need to apply either a battle pass or a battle pass plus. Now, battle pass again. This season six, is, the theme is summer. If you buy the battle pass right now for twenty four hundred. Uh, TerraCoin, then what that'll do is open up all of those rewards for you to receive. 
And, and even the ones where you choose one or the other, you'll actually get both as, if you pay for Battle Pass. Now, you also have Battle Pass Plus for 3,500 Terra Coin. Battle Pass Plus opens up all the levels, plus it gives you these particular bonuses. Bracelet of Absolute Equilibrium, at least that is gold seven days. You can read the rest for yourself right there. Um, and that's the way it works. And uh, bear in mind, these Battle Passes and Battle Pass Pluses only apply during that particular season. So see, you see people out there trying to sell uh, Battle Pass Black Tiger in the trade broker or something? Do not buy it. That that season's over with. It will not work. Do not waste your your uh, gold coins. Uh, I, I think people have them listed out there to try to take advantage of people who don't understand how the system works. So it's not a Battle Pass Summer or a Battle Pass Plus Summer. Do not buy it. It will not work. It has to be that season. Now, when you get to the Battle Pass levels, plus 5, plus 20, plus 30, plus 50, those work during any Battle Pass season. And, in fact, we get a whole lot of those as free drops. I, I have a bunch uh, that I pulled out of my bank just now that have been given for free. Like right now, we've got the accumulated daily login event going on, which is a lot of those are going on. on day 3, we got a free one of those. Day 23, we'll get another free one. Um, some of the other events we've had recently have been dropping them. Uh, so, you know, you, 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 you I collect them uh, when they drop them for free and save them up for the next Battle Pass season. Now, just to be able to show you everything, I am going to, and, and I'll tell you now, I uh, did this on my new gamer tag with my new character that people saw me do a live broadcast on the 2nd of July, nine days ago. Uh, where I went from character creation to level 65 in 14 hours, 15 minutes. Now, unfortunately, I did not realize YouTube had stopped recording shortly before 12 hour mark. So what you actually get to see if you go watch it now, you weren't there for the actual live broadcast, is me going from character creation to level 61 in under 12 hours. So I went ahead and I wanted that character to have the Bracelet of Absolute Equilibrium because it's a brand new character. So I went ahead and, and popped Battle Pass Plus uh, for her. And there are two uh, boxes that are not labeled, not even when it gets into your inventory. But I'll tell you now, those are a Diable Striped Bikini and a Diable Vivid Yukata. They're, they're both uh, clothing items. And uh, Striped Bikini is kind of cute. That you cut a thing, I'll probably never wear it. Not really my style. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the Battle Pass Plus Summer. You could buy the regular Battle Pass and be able to collect all the rewards. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. I have now bought it. Now, anytime you buy anything in the Terra store, it does not go into your inventory. It goes here to Item Claim. Item Claim is basically like a bank for all your characters, for anything you have bought from the Terra store, but you have not yet claimed. So even though I am going to claim it here on my brawler because she's the one who bought it and she's the one I want to apply it to, I could actually log into my Valkyrie, my Reaper, my Ninja, any one of my characters, and go ahead and pull it out for that character instead of her. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, claim it for her. At the bottom it says hit X to claim the item. If you're on uh, PlayStation, it'll tell you what button to hit. There you go. You get some mileage for buying it and claiming it. Now, it doesn't automatically apply. You have to go into your inventory. Now it's in my inventory because I pulled it out of item claim. And, and you see, I pulled 14 Battle Pass level plus fives out of my inventory or out of my bank uh, because that's what I'm going to need to get 70 levels. Uh, the Battle Pass Plus comes with a plus 30 already. So. Uh, that'll get me to level 100 so I can show you all the items. So I'm going to apply Battle Pass Plus. And that is what it gives me right there. I'll pause for a moment. You can always uh, pause the video if you need to see what everything is. But that's a permanent, two permanent bracelets of absolute equilibrium. That actually surprised me when I opened this up on my other gamer tag on my new character. We used to get one bracelet of absolute equilibrium. Now they're giving two. Uh, so that, that was a nice little bonus. You know, I, I thought that was cool. So you can actually put one on. You can throw it in your bank. You can't trade them, so you can't sell it to other people. But you can put it in your bank. I don't believe you can put it in the guild bank. Uh, but you can put it in your bank and give it to another one of your characters. You know, so 
you know, wear it on your first character who actually claimed it, which is pretty cool. And you'll notice uh, it gave you the battle pass level 30, like I said, so I, I've got 70 more to, to apply. Uh, and you see one of the things it gives you is battle pass summer. And that's because we haven't actually applied the battle pass yet. We have opened up the battle pass plus. So now that I've opened it, I'll go ahead and close this. And I want to find my battle pass. Okay, battle pass summer has not actually been applied yet. You have to still apply it. So there we go. Now I've applied the battle pass. Yes, I want to confirm that I'm applying it. Now, I'm not going to claim these first two items yet because first I'm going to, uh, because right now I'm only level two. Yeah, level two. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply the battle pass level plus 30. I'm going to confirm it. Now I'm level 32. And you can see all the shiny things. If it's shiny, that means you can claim it. I uh, forgot to mention that earlier. When we go over here, okay. So everything I'm 32 is shiny like that. That means I can claim it. Now everything past that I can't claim yet because I haven't earned that level yet. Now I'm going to go through. Now you saw how to apply the battle pass leveling up thing if you want to use it. Or again, you just go to the, do those missions every day that I was showing you and the, uh, the special missions and, and earn your way up uh, through the ranks. Now, again, the game has been dropping Battle Pass level plus five like candy. I'm going to go ahead and open all these so I can get to level 100 and show you what all the items are. When I go to edit this thing later, I will more than likely fast forward this part because you've already seen how to apply Battle Pass level plus ups. As a matter of fact, I will do this one. I will confirm it. I'm up to 37. Confirm that, but I'm not going to claim anything yet. So now when I edit, I'm going to fast forward because it's going to take me a little while. And now I am about to uh, apply my last battle pass level plus five. Again, I got all of those 70 levels uh, for free from all the drops from things like accumulated daily login events, uh, server maintenance rewards, and all that sort of thing. So again, save those up so you can go up levels for free. Confirm that one. Okay, so now I'm over level 100. Now, officially, 100 is the max level for getting all these different kinds of little rewards. Once you go over level 100, then you start getting, uh, you can see right there, those special boxes, um, bonus rewards, bonus boxes. And I believe the total max is 200, you know, so you can go to level 100 and get all kind of different rewards. And then, whoops. Once you go over level 100, you start getting these bonus boxes that you can open up for random rewards. And I believe once you get to 200, that's it. I've never gone to 200, though. So. All right, now you see right there, uh, right above the shiny stuff off towards the right, it says for me to hit the X button if I want to receive all activated rewards. PlayStation will tell you which button to hit. I'm going to push it. And I'm going to let you sit there and watch all the different rewards pop up. Now, it seems like this season, it's mostly just the routine standard rewards. Go oh, you saw gold bars? If you don't already know, the only thing you can do with gold bars is sell them to an NPC merchant for 1,000 gold each. So once you get gold bars, just go sell them to an NPC merchant. Or if you want to hold them and collect them, that's fine. You saw one of the blank boxes there. Uh, again, one of them is a uh, Diable Stripe Bikini. The other is Diable Vivid Yukata. Um, but yeah, the gold bars, sell them to an NPC merchant uh, for 1,000 gold each. Because that's the only thing you do with them in the game. You can't do anything else with them. I've actually seen people listing them in the trade broker for like 1,200 gold or more. Don't, don't waste your gold buying uh, a gold bar out of the broker for more than a thousand because the only thing you can do with it is sell it to an NPC merchant for a thousand. Self thick dyes. Those things are so common in this game. They drop all the time. I've recently started selling my thick dyes from my bank through the trade broker uh, 10 at a time because I had like over 120 of them all free that have been dropped from all kinds of different events and whatever. Um, they're just extremely common. And you see, uh, now the main thing I actually love out of here is, uh, and as a matter of fact, 
uh, style item liberation scrolls. I think I had like 40 or so of those from drops from different things. You just saw I sold one of those because I put some of those in the trade broker. Um, and, and I actually have a uh, video out there for farming gold in Terra. Uh, and in that video, you see me make 4.6 million gold in one day without buying anything from the Terra store. Just selling stuff that I got for free from the game. Uh, things that I have gathered, crafted, enchanted. Um, uh, all kind of things. I give all kind of different tips in there for how to do it. Uh, the farm golden terror without having to pay anything in the terror store. Okay, now it has taken me automatically to level 100, and you can see my bonus boxes is shiny. That means it didn't give me those automatically. So let me click on that, and I have two and two, so I get four bonus boxes. I'm going to go ahead and receive those. Okay, now I have gathered, I've collected all of my rewards. And let me go in here and just to show you now, like 100 Terra coin. If I just click it, then that's going to uh, automatically add Terra coin uh, to this to the Terra store for me. And I believe there's some other Terra coins. Yeah, 10 Terra coins, 47 of them. So that's 470 more on top. Of and this one you have to hit one at a time. You can't open all at once. I'm not going to sit here and do it. Same thing with mileage. I got 41, uh, 10 mileages. So that's 410 mileage extra. You have to pop those one at a time. Not going to do them all. The they started the Terra fishing tournament on the seventh. We got the initial ten coins. You're supposed to get ten more every day in parcel post. I have not gotten a single one here. What five days later? Uh, one of my other viewers mentioned that he hasn't received any either. So I guess it's just broken. Hopefully they'll fix that soon because I was uh, actually excited when I saw it happening. All right, uh, this was something we got from the battle pass. This is our mount. For this time, it's the rare Formula Racer, which gives you a flight speed of 290, movement speed of 290, and restores 2% of your HP and MP every second. That's that's our big mount. For the, it's not nearly as good as mounts we've gotten in the previous seasons. And, wait a minute, I don't think it's... Okay, here we go. You see these don't have labels but they're under your beaker. This one is the Diable Vivid Yukata. This one is the Diable Human Female Striped Bikini. You also get a, a Neon Dark Mint Weapon Box. Uh, I've already gotten a few of those from previous Battle Passes. I'm not going to pop it, but it's there. You get a random hairstyle ticket. So if you want a random hairstyle you can pop that open. You got that from the Battle Pass. Uh, I like my characters on this particular gamer tag to have their halos that they get from, from gathering and stuff. So I don't I don't usually do hair type things. And you get an L News tier. One of my favorite drops anytime because I love crafting and gathering. gathering. And in my uh, gathering and crafting videos i talk about l news tiers age l news tiers and, and all that kind of stuff that gives you back some of your production points love those things and if you want to see it uh, go ahead and the bikini's kind of cute it's, it's not bad okay and it is diable so you do get this from Battle Pass Season 6, Summer, which we're in right now. And this is the Diable Vivid Yukata. It is Diable. I seriously doubt my character will ever wear it again after this. Not really my kind of thing. I prefer my Celestial outfit. Okay, so that is uh, it. That is the Battle Pass Season 6. The theme for this season is Summer. And it is entirely up to you whether you think it is worth it to buy either the Battle Pass or the Battle Pass Plus. Uh, personally, if you're going to pay for one of those, you, you may want the Battle Pass Plus to get the uh, Bracelet of Absolute Equilibrium. Because I can't remember off the top of my head what the uh, actual... Okay, that's the one for 60 days. And again, this season you actually get two of them. Uh, when you buy it, which that's actually a nice little bonus. And, and you can put it in your own bank. Uh, you, you see, you can't trade it, you can't sell it, and you can't store it in the guild bank. 
but you can put it in your personal bank. I know this for a fact because I did it with my other characters. So I can give it to one of my, the second one to one of my other characters later. And what it gives you is it increases your crit factor by 26, has an attack modifier of 300, and you get a 10% increase in your max MP, 2% increase in combat movement speed. For me personally, for each of my characters to have one, it, it, that's worth it. But it's up to you if you think it's worth it for the bracelet of absolute equilibrium or not. But those are the benefits that you do get from it if you're considering buying for that. All right. Season six, the theme is summer. Until next time, enjoy Terra and happy gaming.